Hi, this is Group 4, and we're presenting our project over at Uber. My name is Spencer. I'm Mara. Tom. Uh, Daniel. Wes. <laughs> Alright, so Uber was founded in 2009 by Travis Kalnick and Garrett Camp. It's currently headquartered in San Francisco, California, but operates in 570 cities worldwide. Uh, how Uber works, basically you download the app, from there you're able to reach out to the drivers and they'll be able to, they'll be able to come and pick you up and deliver you to wherever you need to go. Welcome to Uber. A reliable ride is always just minutes away. Let's get one. These are all the cars in your area and how close they are. You also have options from the everyday to the premium. Got a quick errand? Get a low-cost Uber X. Are you riding with friends? An Uber XL is an inexpensive SUV with room for everyone. Black is the original Uber for when you want to step it up. Tap the vehicle icon for rates. Now set your pickup location by moving the pin or typing it in. Enter your destination and your driver will know where you're going once you get in the car. Every ride is cashless. You can change your payment method by tapping this button. Want to see how much it will cost? Get a fair quote. If you have a promo code, enter it here. Nice. $20 off my first ride. And request. John will pick you up in two minutes. See, that's him. He's driving a Toyota Prius. You even have the license plate number. Wow, his rating is 4.9 stars. And here he is. Hop in. When you get to your destination, just hop out. You'll see your fare summary and get to rate your driver. Enjoy your ride. requirements to become an Uber driver. One, your car has to be a model year 2000 or newer. Uh, you have to be able to hold four passengers, excluding the driver. You must be 21 and have one year of driving experience, and the car cannot previously have been salvaged. Um, in big cities where not everyone has a car, such as uh, Chicago or New York, this comes in handy so you'll have a reliable source of transportation. Okay, to start off, we will be listing eight problems Uber is currently facing. Their problems include the safety of the customer, poor quality for the drivers, overcharging customers, an insufficient human resources department, the resignation of their former president, Jeff Jones, trouble with international expansion, the lack of privacy with their customers, and leadership issues. The two, two biggest issues we believe are facing the company today are pricing and leadership. Each of these issues presented overlap with these two topics and are core problems that could lead to serious future consequences for the business. In 2017, Uber ride fares increase by up to 20% and could keep increasing. To retain customers, management must stop annual price hikes before putting themselves out of the market. A bottom-up change would be best. getting feedback and suggestions from both drivers and riders first, and then manifesting that information into something meaningful that they can use to change their price strategies. CEO Travis Kalanick takes the biggest fall, as he should. He has caused an array of distractions that should 
and should ultimately step down to allow someone else to become the face of Uber. Kalanick has been seen on video getting in an argument with one of his drivers about pricing and how drivers are paid. He has also blown off multiple harassment cases within the company itself. I, I, I lost $97,000 because of you. I bankrupt because of you. Look, yes, so, yes, yes, yes. You keep changing every day. What have you I? Keep, you what, keep changing every day. Hold on a second. Day. What have I changed about black? Huh? What have you I changed? changed the whole business. What? what? You dropped the prices on on black. Yes, you did. Bullshit. We started with twenty dollars. Bullshit. We started with twenty dollars. You know what? How much is the mile now? Two seventy-five. You know what? What? Some people. Don't like to take responsibility for I their take shit. Responsibility. They blame everything but in their life on somebody else. But why you sending an email else? for town car? Good luck. Good luck to you too. But I know you don't gonna go far. The video of him and the harassment cases have all went viral and caused Uber's brand name major detriment. As far as making differences in Uber, the company, Uber needs to get a new face of the company or a CEO who will establish an employee first method. This will prevent unethical workers from joining the company and it will also keep better workers for working for the company in the future. Um, other changes that Uber can make is they will need to change how the company is operated as a whole. I believe that um, an office will add structure and it will um, have a better relationship between the employees and all the other managers in each city that Uber operates in. Um, for another change that Uber needs to make is they need to have a defined price structure not only for its customers but for their drivers. With this, this will keep customers from being overpaid by unethical drivers and it will um, make sure that the drivers uh, get paid as much as they work from the company. To evaluate these actions that we have taken place now in uh, fixing pricing and leadership, we need to go from the bottom up. We need to look at the customers first. So starting off with pricing, we need to talk to them and send out forms talking about what we think is fair price and what we've done and what they think is fair. For leadership, we need to talk to the company more. We need to look more into the, uh, the other employees and ask them what they think needs to be done for leadership and what they think of the current leadership and past leadership. So mostly forms and other things like that need to be put out in order to uh, change the company's name and figure out what we've been doing wrong and right. After all the research that we as Group 4 have done over the project of Uber, this is how we will conclude our project. Thank you.